Hi, welcome to another video in my series on centres of mass. Now in this video what we're going to look at is toppling problems. And to demonstrate this I've got a lamina here resting on an inclined plane. I've marked in the centre of mass here and you can see the weight W newtons acts through this point vertically. Now if I assume that the lamina will not slide down the plane, that the plane is rough enough to prevent sliding, then let's see what happens as I raise the angle of the plane. As I raise this angle you can see the line of action of the weight gets closer and closer to this point here. And as we raise it higher you can see that at this point here the line of action of W passes through this point here. And at this point there's no turning effect about this point, no moment. And so this lamina is very unstable. It's at the point of toppling. Because if this was to be raised by a few more degrees, this would actually start to topple now about that point. So we're going to look at questions then on toppling. We raise the angle of the plane until the weight acts through this point here. And as soon as it gets to that point, if we increase the plane's angle any further, it will topple. So what is this angle that the plane has to be before the lamina starts to topple? Well, let's call it theta. And if you draw a line from your center of mass perpendicular to the plane, you're going to get a right angle triangle. And this angle theta appears up here. By basic geometry, this is a right angle triangle. So this would be 90 degrees. This angle here has to be 90 minus theta in order for the angles to add up to 180 degrees. This too would be 90 minus theta. It's opposite this angle here. Let's just mark that in as 90 minus theta. So that means this angle has to be theta so that all three angles add up to 180 degrees. Now, when you're doing problems like this, you'll know the position of the center of mass. You'll have worked out certain distances from these edges. So let's just suppose that whatever those measurements are, you could work out, say, this measurement and this measurement here. Let's suppose that this turns out to be three centimeters in a problem and this is seven centimeters, say then it's easy to get theta just by basic trigonometry of a right angle triangle. Tan of theta compares the opposite side over the adjacent side. So tan theta would equal, if these were the measurements in the problem, the opposite side 3 over 7. And to get theta, we just inverse tan both sides. So theta equals the inverse tan of 3 sevenths. And if you work this out on your calculator, you'll find you get 23.198 and so on. And if we rounded this, say, to one decimal place, theta would equal 23.2 degrees to 1 dp. So this is essentially what you do then when you're trying to find out the point at which a lambda, say, will topple this angle here, theta, is given up here when you create this right angle triangle. And you should then be able to see from the workings that you've done earlier in the question certain measurements that you can relate to on this triangle. And then just use trigonometry. Okay, well I hope that's given you some idea then. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial.